And now to a coverage of the coronavirus pandemic. Bielsons have been urged to take advantage of the ongoing COVID-19 vaccination exercise and get inoculated against the virus. Governor Doyeji made the call after he received the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine jab during the State Executive Council meeting in Yenagua. And Joseph Kunde has details. It was barely less than two weeks ago that Bayelsa State received 44,180 Oxford AstraZeneca Our vaccines. People we have here. At the 28th State Executive Council meeting, and Governor Doye Diri called on members of the public to take part in the exercise after he took the first jab of the vaccine. I call on all Bayelsans to please go and take their jabs, get inoculated against this deadly pandemic called COVID-19. And so while we believe and have faith in God, also protect yourself against the pandemic COVID-19. Also at the council meeting, Governor Deary inaugurates a boundary committee saddled with the responsibility of retrieving all Bielsa lands to the state. You all are aware that uh, we have subsisting litigations with our neighbor, neighboring states, river states, over boundary disputes on the Soku oil wells, because boundaries are not properly delineated. And for that reason, we have losing revenue every month. About one billion naira has been removed from the allocation of Bielsa State. This committee is very urgently going to start business. Should actually uh, see it as very urgent and delineate these boundaries. Restoring Bayelsa property via litigation or alternative dispute resolution mechanism is what the new chairman of the committee is bringing to the table. We can assure you that by the pedigree of those who are members of this strategic committee and our considered opinion, those who are going to co opt into the workings of this committee, and so those areas will leave no stone unturned to ensure that what is due us is taken to us. The Boundary Committee is expected to interface with federal agencies in ensuring that Bayelsa gets the dividends of her lands. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yenagoa.